Yes, the title of this video is 100% true. I sold my wife's Ford Explorer and replaced it with another Nissan and I am super excited about it. If you guys have been following along, you'll know uh, that I recently uh, mentioned that we are making some pretty serious life changes coming up here in the next few months and this is just part of that process. Some steps and actions have been put into place and we are going to make this thing happen. So I hope you guys will stick around for it on this channel and on our second channel. But now without further ado, let's see what we got going on here. So what I have here is a 2021 Nissan Titan Pro 4X. Really excited about it. It is white with some black accents. I'm not typically a fan of white vehicles, but uh, the right combination of white and black actually looks really nice on this. There were a couple of black ones that I was interested in. One in particular I almost moved forward with, but there's just something about the dealership that was just a little bit off to me. And uh, the numbers that they were giving me were a little bit funky. They just didn't make sense. They just weren't quite adding up to me. Uh, but I found this one in Pauley's Island, South Carolina. Uh, they offered a nice amount of money to purchase the Ford Explorer. So we made a deal happen. We took a trip over there, about a four hour drive to the coast. And I'm glad we did. We worked with Fred Cecil, Fred Cecil. Uh, but if you guys have an opportunity, if you're even close to that vicinity and you find a, a vehicle pop up at that dealership, check them out. They're very great to work with. Fred is an excellent guy to deal with and uh, we got a deal done. It's torquey. It's pretty snappy. And it sounds excellent. Of course, this is the 5.6 liter V8 from Nissan. I'm really pumped to finally have a Nissan V8. I've heard a lot about this platform. A lot of good things uh, are said about the 5.6 liter V8. Uh, so I'm, I'm pumped to finally have one in the fleet. This thing looks good. It's already got a couple of things done to it. So I wanted to show you guys a little bit of that. We'll do a little bit of a walk around and I'll give you kind of an idea what we have planned for the truck going forward. So I knew I wanted a Titan for a long time. When I started shopping for them, I, f I came across a couple, but they're actually tough to find. I knew I wanted a Pro 4X as well. It just has the bells and whistles that I'm looking for. Uh, looking at this one online, I couldn't quite tell, and I was in a rush to get to the dealership, so I didn't really look at it all that hard. It stood out to me. I knew that I was going for it uh, so I just I di actually didn't ask all that many questions and it was just harder to tell online it did look a little bit higher but I couldn't be certain um, but then when I got on site I did notice that it has a rough country lift and I think it's a two and a half inch lift just looking at the blocks in the back I have heard that people have issues with the sway bar end links with the rough country lift with the with the end links breaking uh, but I'm pumped to say that I am in partnership with Z1 Motorsports again on this vehicle. They've been a great partner. They've been a great partner for the Q50 and the 350Z project. So uh, it's gonna be awesome getting some Z1 components on this truck as well. And one of those, and I had planned on putting a Z1 lift on, but because it already has the rough country lift, the guy really took care of it. And it seems that the everything was done quite well. I'm just going to, to leave it for the time being, but we're gonna put some Z1 end links on there so we don't have to worry about those breaking. Cause again, I, I have heard people having some bad luck with them. The truck already has some tires. These are the Nitto Ridge Grapplers. They're 33 inch tires, 33, 12, 50, 18s. Um, the wheels aren't so bad. The factory wheels aren't so bad from Nissan, but I want a little bit more of an aggressive stance. They're tucked in a little bit too much. So I have a couple of sets of wheels in a shopping cart already. I'm just waiting to decide which one I want to go with and then I'm going to be pulling the trigger. So we got a lot of stuff lined up for this truck right away. We're going to just jump right into it. Um, but you can see, you know, it just needs a little bit more of an aggressive stance. It just needs to be pushed out a little bit. These trucks, they, they're, to me, they're sort of reminiscent of Ford Raptor, just kind of how the front end looks. It might be the grill, it might be the, the little yellow lights uh, tucked into the grill and on the fender flares, but it's just not as wide, you know? So I think it could use some more substantial fender flares, but certainly a more aggressive offset wheel. So we'll get some wheels that push those tires out a little bit, just give it sort of a, a wider platform to stand on. Um, but other than that, the thing is, pretty sharp. Uh, they did put a black exhaust tip on there, but it is factory exhaust. Uh, sounds good, but you know, this is Speed Culture Studios for crying out loud. We got to get an exhaust system on it. The other thing, uh, one thing that I did do myself already was a light smoke tint on the tail lights. I'm not a big fan of bright red and I don't like the bright red lenses that Nissan and Infiniti uses in their vehicles. So uh, some light smoke vinyl just to knock that red down a little bit. 
uh, but it doesn't hinder the light output from the lights themselves. So that's a good thing, but it sort of just kind of ties everything together. The tailgate finisher and the lights blend together. Just, it looks sick to me. It's kind of a perfect little, it's a perfect little modification. Uh, I do have a video on that. My camera died while filming, so we'll see. We'll see how much footage I was able to get and maybe post that as a separate video. Uh, other than that, oh, dark tint, of course. Dark tint with the white paint looks fantastic. But what do we got planned? What do I got planned for this truck? I already have some parts in the garage, in boxes from Z1 Motorsports, so we'll be getting those installed. Uh, it's a lot of white to me. It's a lot of white to me, so I'm going to be making a modification or a change to this truck that most people do the complete opposite of. So you're gonna have to stick around for that. It's nothing major, but it's going to change the look of the truck completely, honestly, a little bit of a touch. Oh, I should mention, they did do a little bit of vinyl here on the hood. Flat black, that looks good. I don't think that's factory. Oh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I've never seen another one like it other than what people have done. So uh, I think that's a nice little touch, kind of breaking up the white a little bit. It's just, this sharp. I'm, I'm excited about this truck. Really excited. Let's check out the interior. So I think Nissan actually did a great job with the interior of these vehicles. Really nice leather, heated and cooled seats. The infotainment system is nicer, in my opinion, on these newer Titans. I think the 2020s and newer have the bigger screen. Uh, just pretty awesome. Um, door panels, you know, a little bit cheap right in this area anyway. But the rest of it's pretty nice. Just these handles here. <laughs> sort of typical, typical Nissan, but typical of all manufacturers these days. The dual panel moonroof is awesome. I'm not a usually, I don't usually need to have a moonroof or a sunroof in a vehicle, but I gotta say, it's amazing to have it. Um, sitting up high in the truck, dark interior, you open that up, it just makes the inside of the truck feel so huge. Tons of room in the back seat. It's gonna be fantastic for what we need it for. Um, it already has this tonneau cover on it, which is cool, but we'll, I'm not quite sure how long it's going to last. It'd be like the soft open tailgate. It does have the spray and bed liner. Um, otherwise, nothing else, nothing else really done to it. Uh, but I do have a bunch of plans for the truck, and there's a lot more to come. We're gonna start pumping out some truck content, but but have no fear. If you're here for car, car content, I have a, a lot of 350Z parts in boxes in the garage still as well. So uh, there's a, I got a lot of stuff to do here in the next couple of weeks. Bunch of install videos, bunch of testing videos, and um, I got plans for the truck this afternoon, so. It's a really, really comfortable ride as well. Uh, for the, with the tires that it has on it, I was a little bit worried there was gonna be some road noise, but really, really uh, pleased with the Nitto Ridge Grappler suit. Uh, quite smooth, even though they're a little bit knobby. Um, the truck is really quiet on the inside, at least for now. Um, no rattles or anything like that that seem to be common with Nissan cars. <laughs> But uh, really clean, really smooth, really comfortable. The seats are really nice. Um, that's, that was sort of a, a shared comment that everyone in my family had as we made the four hour trip back home after purchasing the truck, is that it's just super comfortable. The passenger seat lays all the way back. One complaint is that the passenger seat, you can't raise it up. Uh, it's not fully adjustable, unfortunately. Um, but it does lay almost flat, like 180 degrees. So if you did have a passenger in a long haul trip, they can lay it all the way back and, and take a little snooze. Uh, but other than that, tons of room, tons of leg room, tons of headroom. Again, having this dual pane moonroof open just lets in so much light, makes the truck feel so much bigger and more roomy. It should be a good one, and it's sort of exactly what we were looking for for what is to come. So uh, again, I hope you guys will follow along. I stay following along on this channel. Obviously, more car content coming up. And actually, as I said before, the plans that we have uh, going forward over the next several months is actually going to help expand the horizons of this channel. Um, we should be able to meet a bunch of people and see a lot of cool stuff. So stick around there, and more adventures to come on our second channel. Link in the description below.